Hello YouTube. <laughs> this is the most professional I've ever appeared in my life. I am giving you pop star soul cycle instructor realness <laughs> and I'm living for it. So this week I thought uh, <laughs> I could chat you through a super simple stretching routine. Stretching is a huge part of exercise and I've done a couple workout videos and thought it might be nice to do something that's a little bit slower and kinder. So this is great for mornings, before workouts, as you're winding down your day, or if you're somebody like me who is spending the majority of their time sitting at a desk looking at Zoom all day, it's good to incorporate a couple of stretches and be kind to yourself. I'll also say that uh, I am not a professional uh, at anything. I have no degrees. I barely have a high school degree. Uh, if I have to fill out a form online where they ask me, I say some college, because I did take French, ballet, and a film class at a community college one time. I didn't pass any of them, I don't think. Uh, so I'm, I'm just sitting, sitting uh, on, my, on my toes, I guess. Toes are bent. <sighs> I'm just gonna sit here for a couple minutes, really feel my body rest into my toes, really my posture. Oh, maybe we'll do a couple neck circles and then reverse it the other way. I like to start with some cat calves. So you're in a neutral position. You feel activation in your buns. We're just gonna open up. Oh, exhale. All of these things too um, that I'm showing, feel free to just do them while you're watching TV. Okay, then let's, I think this is called thread the needle. Let's thread it. So this is my right arm sliding through and I'm sort of leaning on this shoulder. I'm gently pushing with my left hand to give myself a little bit of a twist, but please only go as far as your body allows. Open it back up this way. For some reason, I don't know why, it's just what you do in yoga. Back down, let's do the other side. Let's start, open up, thread the needle. While we're sitting here, I uh, wanted to throw out that I've been watching Last Chance You, which is so incredible. And I just want to talk about it because I can't stop talking about it or thinking about it. I'm on the most recent season. I'm only halfway through. Please do not spoil it for me. My toes are touching and pointed. I'm making like a, a V. And I'm gonna just sit back. Oh, okay. And then I'm gonna come through, pushing through. And now I'm curling my back toes, pushing up from the hips. So I'm gonna go back down to just so you can see it one more time. Maybe this is annoying and everybody knows how to do this, but it's really important to be kind to that lower back. So pushing from that, from the, from the toes and then from the butt. Pedaling the legs. Okay, so let's start right leg up to the ceiling. Um, keep your hips square. So don't like try to over rotate it this way. Now you can bend the knee and open it outward. So now I'm kind of opening up to the side. A little step it through. I'm gonna put my knee down. Hands here. This one in particular is like huge on <laughs> anytime I was stunt training. This motion from here to here, oops, was like, I, I probably racked up thousands of times of doing it before training, after training, because uh, when you're doing fight sequences, you get warm doing the fight sequence, but then they're moving cameras around and you start to cool down and so you have to find ways to continue to stay limber because that's where uh, injuries happen. How do we feel about lowering through a push-up? Can you believe I'm saying this? Lower through a push-up, people. And then we're just gonna lower slow. I'm back up. Left leg up. Straight, keeping the hips straight. And then we're gonna bend it, open it up to the side, and then step through. Knee down, and we're back to our classic runner's lunge. Very soon, like we're talking, I don't know, a week or two, I am starting training again for the sequel. 
So I've been doing everything I can to just get my body primed. I've learned a lot from athletes in uh, the recovery process. Let's sit back. Of how important it is to avoid injury and with something like Captain Marvel, it's just, you know, there's only one of me. I don't have a secret twin of some kind, although that'd be cool if I had that reveal. That'd be a good YouTube video. Yeah, it does require, um, you know, lifting weights and all of those things, but it also requires uh, the recovery. It's something that I want to talk more about on this channel is the recovery process because um, I was so inspired. Oh, we can keep going. <laughs> I'll do something else. Uh, we'll, we'll do uh, this thing. <laughs> I was just so inspired by the Captain Marvel workouts that I saw in uh, response to the workout videos that Jason and I were posting and it was amazing. And, um, and I also think having an open dialogue about what I'm doing on the other end of that, you know, because I was for the first film training, I don't know, at least four hours a day. I wasn't training like that. I was, I was sleeping, <laughs> sleeping under a red light. Um, I was getting massage, cupping, hot tubbing, hot bath, saying, take care of yourself. You're gonna tear up those muscles, make sure you care for them afterwards. Okay, so now let's just like finish it up. We're gonna reach up, ah, fold over and go as far as you can. That's my favorite part, is that everybody just gets to do it the way that they want to. Okay, there's one more thing we can do, bonus. So, it's crossing your legs, except we're gonna put one foot on top. So, having your, the key is, and this is something that my um, PT instructor's been having me do. Okay, so be careful with this one, okay? It's important to flex both feet. We're trying to keep the keep the feet even. And if you can't get your foot all the way over, like just I don't don't force it. And then just kind of feel it, right? So you can go forward, and back. Just rest your hands on top. And then we'll do the other side, which I think I think is like this. Okay. Like that. Oh, it's always nice to end oh, with just full rest saying thank you to ourselves. <laughs> thank you to me. Up. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, do a workout on my own now. I appreciate you being here, spending this time with me. Oh, also wanna end this by saying, as I'm starting to train with Jason, I'm gonna start creating some new fitness goals and I wanna hear from you what should my next goal be. I want to do a one arm pull up, that's for sure. But if there's something else that I'm missing, like give me some cool goals to grab onto. We work well with a goal. Sending you love, have a wonderful week. See you next time, bye.